Hello everyone, myself Ashish Desai, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Department. Today we are going to discuss here unit number 2, Manufacturing. So in that content we are going to discuss here, Manual Part Programming. So this is for turning cycle. So first of all we will discuss here the axis convection. So in axis convection uh, we know that, so while considering the uh, turning cycle, so we can hold the this workpiece into the chuck so this is chuck you have taken the cross section that's why this is shape is for chuck and this is your stock right and this uh, that green portion is your required part so for the purpose the x axis so positive and negative x axis so positive is at the upper side and negative is at the upper side and for z so when tool is moved from this point, suppose this point is your uh, workpiece reference point, or you can say work, workpiece zero point, and the tool will be moved from this point to this point. So this point to this point, right? So that time we can take the negative direction. This is negative direction, right? And for the dam, this approach we can take for diameter. So here in, in that session we are discussed regarding the diameter approach. Or you can say diameter approach programming so that's why i can take x as a diameter suppose we have to construct for this diameter so we can mention this diameter is a x and for z we can take the distance that length we can take a distance that is minus z so tool will be moved from this point to this point that we can take minus z and for x axis we can refer as a diameter so this is the when the tool moves from this point to this point like this this point to this point so this is called as negative direction so z is in a negative direction express in a negative direction and for x is we can refer as a diameter so initial diameter and final diameter so only we mention final diameter so this is regarding the turning so this is the first example for turning so while preparing a, this example, we have to know the, all the dimensions regarding the job. And after setting up this, uh, that job, then we prepare for manual programming. So first of all, we construct the first code that is N01. So here we can take a reference. So this is at the center. We have to take a reference N01. That means first block sequence number one g94 that is absolute positioning so here that point is called as absolute positioning m06 so m06 means tool change and the tool number is two uh, that 0101 so this is number tool so this is a first block now we move for the next block that is g90 so this is for the absolute programming so g90 is absolute programming the next code for G00. So G0 means 0 means rapid traverse and X0, Z0. X0, Z0 means your point is will be approached at this point. So this arrow indicate and that point is called as X0, Z0 and spindle speed is 600 RPM that is revolution per minute. And G0 is the rapid traverse. Okay. So these are the N. N is nothing but sequence of block so always remember that sequence is sequence number block is at the first side then preparatory code then we write uh, our coordinate system and then we will mention the miscellaneous function that is s600 that is miscellaneous functions we can mention over here okay then next now tool approach for this point okay now the tool shift at that point over here right so this point we can approach this point so first of all we go for diameter what is the diameter here so this point is linear interpolation so that's why i can take g01 so that is g01 is called as linear interpolation n04 is called as uh, sequence number so after 3 we can take 4 0 3 and 0 4 that is 4 uh, sequence g01 is linear interpolation so tool is move from this point to this point so i write here the x is 50 so uh, in that session we are discussing on the diameter approach so that's why 
we take x is a 50 and z z is about minus 40 z is minus 40 and f30 f30 means this is regarding the feed rate so we can mention feed rate okay when the workpiece is contact with the tool then we can write a feed rate so this is feed rate the next the next is for the tool approach for this point right so as we mentioned that x is about the x is what is x about this this point this uh, this point 80 so that's why i can write x80 and z z is about what will have about z this 40 and 20 that's why i write z minus 60 so this is regarding the minus 60 so the tool will approach for the over here now this tool will approach to this point so we can mention first diameter over here what is diameter highest diameter here this point 100 correct 100 diameter is there and the tool length what is tool length for that so tool length is for this 40 20 40 so this is 100 that means g01 x 100 z minus 100 x 100 x 100 means this value that diameter value x 100 it is total 100 z and z is the tool approaches from this point to this point that is where z minus 100 so this is regarding the sixth operation now the tool the tool moves away from this side because uh, here the holder is there work pole, that is chuck is there so that time the workpiece goes upper side so the total height that diameter is 100 so we can take extra that is offset 120 that's why that becomes 120 100 is there the tool will be 120 and z10 so z10 means z goes on positive side so here z is on negative side and z is positive side means what z 120 means for 120 and 10 means what the workpiece is maybe at at this position so that is why this is a offset condition the tool will be rapid movement will takes place that's why you can take g00 rapid movement means where the workpiece is not contact with uh, the tool that time you can write g00 and the tool will be moves uh, at the specific distance that's why we can write x120 z10 x120 means here 100 diameter is there so above that 20 we can say 120 and z10 so z is positive so z negative we can take z negative on the direction z positive means positive on that side so that's why z20 is there and m05 so m05 means spindle stop so after this spindle stop will be there the next operation is m30 so m30 is nothing but program will be end so program will be end you can write m30 so this is regarding the first turning cycle so only you mention the if it is linear interpolation we can write g01 g001 we write rapid traverse then whenever the tool is not contact with both piece that time you can g00 otherwise we can specify the x and z directions x means your diameter z means you are this total length so you are told tool will be moving from this point to this point according to that we can vary the z okay so this is regarding the first example now we move for the next example so in that case the taper shape is there right and 30 that is initial diameter is 30 and here final diameter is 100 and this taper diameter for start from 30 and target area is 80 so first of all we construct the block that is g94 so this is a com uh, that comp uh, compilation is there n01 that is first operation g94 that is absolute positioning that presetting is there m06 so m06 means tool change and t0101 means that means tool number so we can take a tool number over here suppose your first tool is there you can write one your tool number is 101 we can write 101 like this now go for g90 g90 is called as absolute programming we refer for absolute programming that's why i connect g90 then n03 that is g00 g00 means what that rapid traverse so rapid traverse means tool we move from one station to another station in a speed manner that's why i can take g00 here that x0 z0 so here we can take x0 z0 and yes 600 a yes, 600 means 
spindle speed at a 600 revolution per minute so this is regarding third block now we move for fourth block now the tool will be moved for this point that is x0 z02 this point that's why we can refer as a x is 30 that is first diameter 30 z is we do not write 0 because if you write 0 we can write z0 also it is not necessary to write z0 if it is uh, we can write also z0 okay according to your uh, usage you can write z0 okay now we move for f30 so f30 means your feed rate now the tool will be moved from this point to this point so what is your final target value that final target value is z that x is 80 your final diameter is x 80 and distance is 70 that's why minus 70 so in first second uh, the next block we write n05 that is sequence of block g01 means rapid that uh, linear transformation is there you say linear uh, moment is there so that's why g01 and x80 that is why final diameter we write and this distance that is z minus 70 z minus 70 so this is block one the next number six six is for the tool move from this point to this point correct so i write here x100 because x100 because final diameter x100 and what is the length of this total length 70 plus 30 so that's why 100 so here j1 minus 100 x is 100 so here write this g01 now you tool take apart from this job so that's why we can take additional offset so here i take 120 instead of 100 120 z is plus 10 not a minus 10 plus 10 means it is from that side that is on the right hand side so that's why z10 then m05 indicates spindle stop and the last box is m30 means that indicate the main program end that is called as m30 okay so this is the turning cycle number two so here always remember that these three block and last two blocks that is first three first two second third this is applied for all programs and last program that is last two line that is seven number and eight number this is also same only that much changes there so in between that lines three to six only changes there so only changes instead of here we can take x is a your diameter and z is a you know that direction so that's why minus take directions so this is regarding the example number two now we move for example number three so here the tool will be there so here x0 z0 is it and z is in negative direction that's why z minus 30 z minus 50 z minus 30 diameter we can take 60 this is 60 and this is about 120 right so according to that we can write the coding system so first code as we know that n01 that is first sequence number g94 that is that preparatory code that is for absolute uh, pre, uh, pre, pre setting is there m06 that is tool change and this is number tool tool number is there that is 101 this is for first block second block for g90 this is in that system we use absolute programming so i write g90 over here then third block that is sequence number 3 that is n03 g00 so here rapid traverse is there that's why we can write g00 rapid traverse code is g00 that is preparatory code and x0 z0 x0 z0 so that's why the point will be here then m04 what is m04 actually so here we have to change the tool and s600 that means speed Spindle speed will be uh, 600. That is in RP. Uh, that is in RPM revolution per minute. So this is regarding the uh, that first uh, that line. The next the tool approach for this height. That is why we can take x is a 60 and z is a minus 30. So I write here x is 60 and z minus 30 and g01 because linear interpolation is there. That's why that g01 is there then f30 f30 means tool that is feed rate that is in 30 that is nothing but meter per minute or can say mm per minute so here mentioned that mm per minute now we move for this point correct this point to this point we not required here 
so what is the diameter size here diameter size is 100 right sorry 120 because 120 is there 120 diameter is there so i write x 120 z is 80 like this x is 120 z is 80 but negative side there is why i can minus 30 and this is the linear interpolation that's why i can take g01 linear interpolation is the tool will be moving a straighter line that's why they get g01 so this is number five block now tool will be approaches at this point right now we can move to away from this part so i write the next block that is x21 that z minus 110 so i at this the tool will be moved up to this height that x120 so x20 is there same z1110 that is 50 plus 30 plus 30 that's why tool will be approached at this point okay so tool will be moved like this so that's why z minus 110 so tool approaches this there and then we can move up, up, apart from this workpiece so that's why you can write block number seven that is g00 so g0 means rapid traverse x140 because 120 is there so i can take extra 20 that's why 140 and z is positive side that is 10 so z is positive to side 10 so tool will be maybe that 140 that means here and positive 10 is there that's why 10 over here positive side positive side here that's why z10 is there then m05 that is spindle stop and m30 that is program will be end main program will be end that is the third example now we move for the next problem that's why we are discuss here circular interpolation so in a circular interpolation there are two methods that is g02 and g03 when uh, g02 in when you use the tool we move from clockwise direction that is why they can they write as a cw arc that is clockwise arc is there so that time you can write g02 so first of all we write sequence number then we write g02 xyz coordinate system xyz that is end point we have mentioned end point suppose your tool is start point here end point so you relate out we can xyz coordinate system so we can write xyz for this end point and radius so what is the radius over here we can write r f f is feed rate so this is regarding the clockwise direction that is g02 this is for synchronous interpolation now write for g03 same way we can write here only change in anti clockwise direction so here your start point is here and end point is over here so that time you can write g03 xyz direct uh, that end point coordinate system r is a radius for this arc and f is a feed rate so as per this we can mention like this so this is regarding the circular interpolation so only linear interpolation is g01 is there but in case of circular interpolation we have to mention r and f values r for radius f is a feed rate okay now we move for the next example that is regarding the circular interpolation that is example number four so here the tool will be move for this point that is this x0 uh, that z0 then your first diameter is 80 that is x80 and z minus minus is there but zero so zero is there so right here so first of all your first block is known to you that is first number that is n01 g94 that is preparatory code that is absolutely coordinating then m06 that is tool change so your first tool is there that's why i can write to p0101 tool number is there the next i mentioned that is g90 g90 indicate that absolute programming the next is the third block number that is g00 that is linear interpolation is there that's why we have to write g00 but is in a right rapid traverse because here x0 is there x0 here we can write z5 z positive five means actually the job will job the or you can say tool will be approached over here okay and that m04 that is spindle start and s600 x600 means spindle speed is about 600 rpm now next block we write here so first approach is this point that is x0 z5 x0 x0 this point z point z z5 that's why i can take z5 positive side so tool will maybe over here now tool reaches to the, this point so first of all you mentioned the x80 x80 z is 0 that's why I don't mention your z0 f.2 point 0.2 point two means your 
feed rate is uh, mentioned in a point two. So as per your requirement, we can mention this feed rate. So this is regarding the fourth number block that is fourth N04. Now we write for N05. What is N05? So this is actually circular interpolation is there. So this is for clockwise, right? So clockwise direction is there. Clockwise. Okay. So first point you have mentioned the end point. So what is the end point here? End point is about this diameter is x hundred. G zero to y related G zero to because circular interpolation in clockwise direction. That's why I can write G zero to. This is block number that is zero five. G zero to is your circular interpolation in a clockwise direction. You mention this. What stop? That is your end point. It is end point. So that's why I mentioned this x is a hundred. So I write x hundred. And what is the value for z? Z is thirty, right? Z is thirty. So I write here z minus thirty because it is negative direction minus thirty. R fifty. That is the radius. So this is R radius. That is R fifty. Now tool approach you over here. Now tool will be move for this point. So as you know that the linear interpolation is there because here the uh, the tool path is straighter manner. So that's why I can write g zero one x is about hundred. That is same. And what is about z? Z is ninety plus thirty. That is one twenty. So I can write here n zero six g zero one. That is why tool will be move in straighter parallel. X hundred. So that is x hundred. Z minus 120. That is 90 plus 30. So 120 is there. Only change is minus 120 because it is in negative direction. So this is regarding the sixth number block. Now seventh number block is sorry. Seventh number block is you know that this is regarding the uh, that to the spindle we saw that is M05 and N then um, next that to uh, block is spindle stop that is M05 and M30. So this is the regarding the turning cycle number four. So here I mentioned about the circular interpolation. So if you reach at this point, so you mention it is clockwise or anticlockwise. Here it is clockwise. That's why I mention here specially that is the G zero two circular interpolation, right? And here mention the end point. What is the end point over here? X is hundred. X is hundred. Z is minus 30. Z is minus 30, and that radius is 50. Only that much change is there. Otherwise, we can write the same program as that of. Okay. Now next, we move for the turning example number five. So this is the linear interpolation because here is arc is not provided here. So first block is as you know that G94 that is for absolute programming. M06 is the tool change. T101 that is your tool number. So this is regarding the first block. That's why I mentioned N zero one. Now next point approach for this point. So first of all we write this absolute dimension. That's why G ninety is there. This is your second block. Then third block. Third block is your tool will be moved from in a faster way. That's why I can say G zero zero. That is X zero Z zero and M zero four. That is M zero four indicate for The spindle start and CS 600. That is for spindle is at 600 RPM. So the now tool will be reaches at this point, right? Because X0 Z0 is there. Now this point to this point. What is this point? So you mention first that diameter. What is the diameter for this point? 20. So I write X 20 and Z will be zero, right? Like this. X 20. Z. So now Z will be reaches this point to this point also. That's why I can write directly. I can write minus twenty, minus twenty, and feed rate is thirty, F thirty. G zero one is for linear interpolation. That's why linear interpolation G zero one. That is number fourth block. Now write for fifth block. Now tool reaches at this point. Now I'm the tool will be move for this point to this point. What is the height? The major diameter is there fifty. So I write. X fifty, G zero one is there. That's why linear interpolation, and Z minus forty. What is that minus forty? This is the minus forty. Now tool reaches point. This point. Is it clear? X fifty means your second diameter. 
then that approach of this 20 that's uh, that whole is 40 that's why i write 0 minus 40. now tool will be moved from this point to this point what is that n06 0 01 is linear interpolation x55 that is your final diameter that is x55 and z minus 70 that is 40 plus 30 so this is for z minus 70 so your final operation is completed now we move for the tool will be traverse you know rapid traverse so we can take away from this workpiece so that's why i can write g00 so rapid traverse is there and x60 x60 means your final diameter of size is 55 so we can take offset of that that's why i can take x60 z10 z10 means positive 10 is there so that's why so positive 10 means you can take 10 outside this so this type of uh, information you provided here the next for m05 m05 means spindle stop and main program in that is why m30 and this is the block number so always remember that n means your sequence number right sequence of operation numbers or can say block numbers so this is regarding the example number five now we go for the example number six so here uh, there are two interpolation is there here circular interpolation is having two one is a clockwise anti clockwise okay so first of all we write the that code g90 that is the positioning of the center or mat uh, that metric system is there yes 2000 that is your spindle speed is there in rpm tool that is 2 t300 that is number tool tool number is there now we move for the next path that is g00 that is your tool path that is x35 and z is 5 so z5 means your tool is approach at this point only at this point not like this not this in this point okay this point is there and m08 and the t that is tool number will change that is t300303 okay so tool will be approach at this point now we move for the next block that is linear interpolation so linear interpolation this up to this length right because the radius is start from this point to this point so this point means your total distance is 36 what is the final distance 16 minus 36 means that is 20 so what will be the, the, the distance for this point this point for z is 20 that's why i can write z minus 20 and diameter is x35 so therefore tool will be changed uh, tool will be move up to this point okay now this point is for circular interpolation so i write here clockwise direction right clockwise so i write here clockwise direction so that's why i can write g02 now i write here x67 why it is 67 because i know that the 35 is your final diameter right now tool will be aimed at this point at particular this point correct so here the radius will be 16 means that diameter will be 32 this diameter will be 32 and initial diameter is 35 so 35 plus 32 is 67 that's why i write uh, that height that is x is 67 and z is minus 37 minus 36 because tool is moved from this point to this point z is minus 36 x is 67 because uh, your tool is approached from this point i mentioned here arrow also this point to this point so your initial is your 35 diameter and now final diameter is reached at some height that height how to calculate this radius is 60 that uh, that, that means what the, uh, the diameter is 32 so 32 plus this 30 35 that's why x is 67 and here mention the radius what is the radius 16 so i write mention 16 over here now we move for the next block that is not will be rich at this point okay now we go for the linear interpolation g01 and x68 okay so this is the height so some point will be left out this so point will be over here 68 z minus 36 only one mm we can defer here 67 to 68 now next uh, that is for 
that circle interpolation that's why i can write g03 g03 x100 that is your final operation of the diameter is there because tool will be approached at this point so i mentioned this x100 over here z what is the value of z because this completes 36 and this is a 16 and that's why i write here the value of the z z is 36 plus plus this distance right because so this is 16 right so z minus 52 because as we know that this total value we cover this z 36 and this value is 16 so that's why z minus 52 and r is about 16 now we move for the tool is about this height that's why x100 and z is that addition of these two value that is minus 82 that minus 82 and last block is your x110 that 100 mm is there so that's why i can take away from this so 110 and z10 so positive z10 is there so positive side will be there on this like this and m05 that is why spindle stop and last is a program end so this is regarding the turning operation now we move for the next operation that is turning example number seven so here the anti-clockwise there here clockwise direction is there now first three block is same so first block is g90 we are expressing for absolute dimensioning s200 that is for uh, that is for the spindle speed is about 200 m03 that is spindle start now second block is for g00 so this is the rapid traverse x0 z3.0 so their tool will be approached at this point and tool number change that is 303 so as per requirement we can write the tool number the next tool next point is the tool is move for this point so g01 means linear interpolation and z0 means here already x is 0 and z is 0 means that's why the point will be raised approach this is there and feed rate is 0.2 okay now we move for the next here g03 because this is anti-clockwise i already mentioned that anti-clockwise is there so that's why the x is diameter so what is the diameter is here 20 z z is your completed radius is 10 that's minus uh, z minus 10 so z minus 10 means this is approach is minus 10 now r10 r10 is radius so radius is r10 so i write r10 now the tool will be move up to this height then we move for this point that means x20 same and what is about z here z is for 50 so i write n05 x20 x20 uh, we do not write that means z minus 50 z minus 20 otherwise you can write x20 and z minus 20 minus 50 sorry x minus 50 x minus 50 means the tool will be reaches at this point minus 50 will be reaches at this point okay and g01 means linear interpolation so the tool will be at this point now next block we write for clockwise direction correct so for clockwise uh, in uh, that direction means in that is nothing but circular interpolation so next block that is n06 we write for uh, that operation in a circular interpolation this is in clockwise direction so that's why we write your final point with radius so final point means n06 that is g01 so actually the tool reaches this uh, closer to this point that's why I write the next block is g02 g02 means that is clockwise so clockwise x100 that is your final diameter final diameter is x100 and you are that total distance 50 plus 24 that is 74 because your final distance is this much so when you mentioning this point because clockwise we can go this point over here that's why i write here the highest diameter that is 100 and z z is 50 plus 24.385 that is about 78 74 385 minus the minus means you have to go to that side minus 385 and radius is the r20 r45 so i write r45 now tool reaches at this point 
now we go for this particular shaping that's why x 100 and z this total that is or t plus 50 plus 24.385 that becomes 114 that is approximately z 115 z 115 x is 100 and next block is for indicating that the tool will be move for upper side that's why i can take offset is 10 mm plus and z will be 10 so z will be 10 means z is positive side positive side means tool is at the right hand side so the tool will be appropriately like this height m05 means what program stop or i can say spindle stop and program will be end that is nothing but m30 so this is regarding the turning examples so in that session we are discussed the number of examples on turning cycles so basically the there are two important parameters there in that case first case is for linear interpolation so we are at the g01 and for circular interpolation we write g02 and g03 so while expressing the circular interpolation we uh, remember that uh, we are mentioning the end point with radius okay mentioning end point for x uh, and z directions as well as with radius so this is the important for a trap for circular interpolation and if it is clockwise is there we can write g02 if it is anti clockwise there then you can write g03 so this is regarding the circular interpolation and for rapid traverse so rapid traverse means whenever the tool is not in contact with the work workpiece so that time we can take as a g00 so that time tool will be moving in a rapid directions so these terms these three terms is required always remember that g00 that is rapid traverse g01 that is for linear interpolation g02 and g03 this is called as circular interpolation so this is important information regarding this or turning cycles so if it is known to you then you can solve easily any one problem in the next lecture we will discuss regarding the drilling cycles